how to do the pearl together, which usually is written as a P and then like a 2 and then T-O-G. So if you break that down, the P stands for purling. The 2 is standing for the fact that you're going to want two loops on a peg. And the T-O-G means together, which means you're going to want to be able to purl them together. And I'm going to show you. I'm using one of these looms just because visually it's easier for you to see. I'm doing this technique on my sock loom, which has got a finer gauge. I'm only using one strand for demonstration purposes because typically with this size loom and this weight of yarn, you would use two strands. But for the sake of the video, I'm using one strand to visually show you what you do. So if you're going to want to do purl together, what you're going to do is this is your working yarn. Put the camera down a little bit. Okay, this is our working yarn right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to then look and say, I want to purl two together on my second peg. This is my starting peg. This is my second peg. So I'm going to go over to my third on the opposite side of the peg that I want to, you know, next to the peg I want to purl together. And I'm going to lift off that loop. And I'm going to place it on the loop that I want to purl two together. And the same idea would work as if you want to knit two together as well. So you're going to place that on there. And what that does, as you can see, is that now on this peg, I have two loops. Again, if you're double stranding when you're using a loom like this, make sure you get both strands over. So now what that does is it creates an empty peg here, but it creates two loops here that you will purl together. And you will purl it just like you normally would. You lay your working yarn in front. You take your hook, and you go down through the two loops. I'm doing this backwards. So I'm going down through the two loops. And then I'm going to turn it, whatever, so that I can get a loop, create my loop. So there's my loop. My hand behind me. So there's my loop. So then all you're going to do is remove both of those off and put your new loop on. And there you purl two together. Now this leaves an empty peg. Typically what you're going to do is you're going to wrap that empty peg. Do nothing to it, just e wrap it. And if you want to do the purl two together again, then you could say, okay, I wrapped this peg because it was empty. I want to do that again. I want to do it on this peg. So then we're going to go to the one next to it. Again, you're going to take that loop off. And you're going to place it onto the peg that you want to do this pearl, two fold together. So again, you had your working yarn. You purled these two together. You wrap this peg, which isn't going to stay on there. So you really got to make sure that you hold it. And then this is the one I want to purl together again. So as you notice, I've got my two loops. And I'm going to place this working yarn, making sure this peg is still wrapped, below and do my purl two together again. So just working down in that, creating my loop. And then once you create your loop, that goes on the peg. And that's how you purl two together. And it creates a little, it's hard to see with this because I've only got one strand on. So it's not as probably defined as it would be using a different gauge or if I was using two strands. But that's all you do. So you purled this one two together. You wrap this one. You purled this one two together. So that means this is empty. You're going to want to wrap it, which I think sometimes you don't have to. You could probably just move on. But I like to wrap it just for the design. Um, this way of purling two together and then wrapping the, next, the empty peg is what I'm doing in a scarf pattern that you will see later on that will be available. So again, I've wrapped the peg here, loosely wrapped, it's not going to stay in place, so make sure it's wrapped because this becomes your working yarn. You can actually wrap it and move it in front if you want. So then it's like I want to purl two together again. So I want to purl this one two together. So again, you're just going to take the loop, put it on your peg. Again, I'm doing this backwards. Okay. Again, the idea is to have two loops on there. Like I said, if you're using two strands, make sure you get them both. And again, you've got your working yarn. It's already wrapped this peg in the front. Put your hook down through. Do backwards here. Turn it so that you can get your loop for purling, which I have a video about how to do the purling, so if you can't see it very well here, and you take that loop and you place it on there. And again, you wrap that peg. Now, typically, if I had wrapped two more here and say I was deciding to, I wanted to purl this one, and I would have taken a loop here, just make sure that if, if when you do this all the way through a row, which I'm doing, sometimes your last peg will become your empty peg. 
and you need to remember to wrap it if need be when you work your way back. So pretty much now I'm just going to knit over these two. And knit over this one because I wrapped my empty peg just to lock it in. And once that's creating, you can kind of see in the back a little bit of where we pulled together. You figure we did this one and we did this one. And as you can see, there's holes. It's a little different here because of the amount of strands, but just to show you that it does create a different effect. And that's all it is. Now, if you had wanted to knit two together, then all you have to do is the same process, moving a loop over. I tend not to do the one that has the working yarn on it. I tend to, like, since this is where I'm going to be starting again, when I go back, I would maybe purl this one, purl two together this one, but I wouldn't do my first one, but that's just me. But if you want to knit, then just simply take your loop, put it over on there so you have the two, because if you want to do a knit two together, then all you're going to do is take your working yarn and you're just going to knit it over. You can decide to excuse me, wrap it like you do e-wrap or whatever and then take those bottom two loops and knit them over. That's a knit two together. And then again the same process of wrapping your empty peg and then moving on. So I mean you can either do purling or knitting. The idea of it being a purl two together means you're just taking two you're just making sure you have two loops on a peg before you do the purling. So that's all it is. So I hope this I hope this helped. Again, this um purl two together you'll see in a scarf video uh, scarf pattern that I created that's been on my Facebook page for the last few few days that I've been working on. And this is the technique that I'm doing and I'm just working back and forth. What would be cool is you could even try doing this in a round for a hat and see how it would look. But again, I just wanted to show you it's simply just making sure that you're moving loops over and doing a purling or a knitting. So I hope this helped. Have a great day.